Harbor Freight wood lathe with treadmill motor. Or something. There it is right there. It's, uh, not very good. Well, it's okay. The, the motor, um, is not very powerful. Which was the point of all this. To buy a treadmill motor and then put it on this lathe and then drive it. Which is in reality the hardest part. So, we me, uh, take this guy apart real quick. And, uh, that's, that's the AC motor. Uh, these treadmill motors are DC to DC motors, which at the end of this video I'll explain how to drive it. Um, I have no idea how powerful that is. Oh, there's it there. It was $35. It's real cheap. Uh, they're much, big, much bigger. Fighting letters all the time. Wait, I gotta drill a hole in that. There's actually two diameters in the hole. Um, so it fit on there. There was like a portion that screwed on, but I wasn't gonna try to thread it. I'm, I'm not the world's greatest threader at all. These like machining portions I think are like the most important parts of any of these videos. Kind of like, I don't think people find that find it that interesting. I always think it's interesting to watch it, but I don't think anybody else likes watching it. I tried to speed them up a little bit. There's a lot of cuts in these. Some point. In there. WD forty. Fuck yep. That's a uh, boring bar I'm using there. That seems ridiculous, but it, it seems to cut and like side to side a little better. And like, there's nothing worse than having to change the tool out constantly. I don't like doing it. it Take too much time. I think that's the same guy. I don't know. You can kind of see the one. The initial plan on this was to use the regular DC driver on there. That's uh, it's a spacer that has to go into it. There wasn't quite enough um, space in between it, and it seemed like it was just easier to cut a wooden spacer and put it on there. I also like being able to use like a template so I can drill the holes out, not even those forward on there. And uh, it worked pretty well. It worked, uh, worked all right. Uh, I machined a, like a V groove onto that for the belt. Uh, I didn't actually show me doing that. It's very simple. A real machine would probably make fun of me. So. I'm just screwing it in. It's going into the original holes that the original motor was mounted on. I do a little cutting on the side of that that treadmill motor to get it to fit in there. This is what I was talking about. I was trying to use the original driver for this. Um, and it worked, but it just didn't work very well. It, um, it spun too fast to start. And, like, if you ever used a wood lathe, if you were, like, putting, like, a oddly weighted piece of wood, it's, uh, it's really dangerous. It's, it's real dangerous. Uh, that's hooked up to that grid rectifier there on the left side of the screen. And that's it right there. They're pretty deep. Um, I'm testing, running through 
that bridge rectifier there to be able to control the speed, turning like AC into DC, because I think that motor is DC to is, is something. That's the 3D printed piece that goes on to that guy, right there. I'm gonna do these videos in one take. This is reversed. That's why it looks weird. I don't have superpowers. Um, I try to get everything to mount to the original holes. I don't want to tap any holes into that cast iron in that lathe. So I just kind of um, made everything to fit that. And I designed that blue plastic mount there. It's 3D printed to fit that SCR. I forgot which one. I think I showed a thing of it. Um, and you just screw it back in on the sides there. Because like I said, the original controller spun a little bit too fast and I didn't want to go through the trouble of having to figure out how to make it spin at a slower rate. It might have been as easy as changing out a pot, but it probably wasn't. And then there's the speed control and then on and off. That on and off is controlled at the 1 and 10 line. The AC line, so it turns the whole thing off and not just the DC power. There it is. Um, it works surprisingly well. Uh, it works way, it's way more powerful than the other motor than that. And um, if it catches like a snag in there, it'll stop real quick. I think I'd do that in the video at some point. Well, you can definitely turn into a lot quicker. And that's it. That was the upgrade. Thanks for watching.